Today is November 20th, 2014. Also, Mrs. Yuhas, a special shout out to her. It's her birthday. Okay. I'm Gus Giannotti, and this is Jack Ankle. I'll start us off. Do you know there's a nice bucket bucket challenge? Well, now there's a Madeline Mission State challenge. Challenge. Do your parents know the mission statement? Well, they should. Miss Miss Wicka, Miss Uhas, and Mrs. Anderson are going to make a mission statement challenge video and post it on Instagram. They will tag three parents. They will tag three parents from the school. It could be your parents. It could be my parents. It could even be his parents. <sighs> Thank you. One last word. Know the mission statement or else. Now here's Jack with the book fair. The book fair is coming. The week after Thanksgiving, the library is being magically transformed into a bookstore. On December, uh, From December 1st, 2014 to December 7th, 2014, there will, be, there will be books such as Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul, and the 2015 Guinness Book of World Records. Also, the, li the library has new books including The Land of Stories, Book 3, and, and The Blood of Olympus. Come check them out soon. Here's Anya Gillen to tell us about Mr. Smurl. Thursday was the funeral for an important person, Mr. James Smurl. On Thursday, some of the classes are going to his funeral. He worked here for 13 years as the model and maintenance man. His job was hard, but he always had a smile on his face. He also worked a lot on other people's houses when he didn't need to. He went to Mexico to build a house he would, only, he, he would be able to live in for years, but he only got halfway through before he was diagnosed. His last days were spent in a hospital when he was being treated for his lung cancer. Please play, pray for his wife, Ruby, and his daughter, <laughs> his wife, Patricia, and his daughter, Ruby. Thursday was the funeral for an important person, Mr. James Smurl. On Thursday, some of the classes went to his funeral. He worked for 13 years as the Madeline Maintenance Man. His job was hard, but he always put a smile on his face. He, worked, he also worked a lot on other people's houses when he didn't need to. He went to Mexico to build a house he would be able to live in for years, but he only got halfway through with it before he was diagnosed. His last days were spent in a hospital where he, when he was be being treated for his lung cancer. P please pray for his wife, Patricia, and his daughter, Ruby. Thank you for watching today's Madeline Mori News. I'm Gustinati, and I'm Anya Gillen. And I'm Jack Anktel. Can I be? And I'm Cece. <laughs> she wasn't in it, but, you know. <laughs> she is not. Wait, no, no, no.